Hi guys, this is Anne Marie and welcome to the Anti-HR channel where I help employees understand their workplace rights and advocate for themselves. Today, I wanna to address something that many of you have encountered in your workplace, either directly or indirectly, and that is the diversity or DEI hire label. But first, this is the Anti-HR channel and on this channel, I talk about employee workplace rights. I talk about HR and how to best navigate HR when pr pursuing or asserting your employee workplace rights. And I give you HR advice and tips about how to assert your workplace rights and how to understand your workplace rights so that you can protect yourself if your workplace rights are being violated. If that's of interest to you, please hit the like button, please hit that subscribe button, please share this video with a friend and please comment, but do so constructively. For many black women and other professionals of color, the term DEI or diversity hire gets thrown around as a way to diminish their qualifications, undermine their skills and question their right to be where they are. But here's the thing, your presence in the workplace isn't a result of some box being checked on a diversity quota. It's because of your talent, your hard work and the unique perspective you bring. So today we're going to talk about how to combat this stigma and assert your value regardless of what others have to say. First off, I wanna be very clear. Diversity hiring initiatives exist for a reason. The goal is to create more equitable workplaces and bring in perspectives that have been historically excluded. But that doesn't mean you're less qualified. Your presence is a part of a necessary correction of the inequalities that exist in the workforce and you belong there. When someone tries to label you as a diversity hire or a DEI hire, remember that this is often a reflection of their own discomfort with the changing workplace, not a reflection of your abilities. It's also a reflection of you showing up their mediocrity and it making them uncomfortable. Don't make their discomfort your problem. Here's the first tip for combating the diversity or DEI hire stigma. Don't allow others to define your narrative. Your skills, your qualifications, and your work ethic are what got you where you are today. So how do you assert your value in a workplace that might question it? First of all, lead with your accomplishments. In the meetings, emails, or presentations you make, make sure to highlight your successes and your outcomes. Tie your work to measurable results and ensure that your contributions are recognized. The more you showcase your impact, the less room there is for anyone to diminish your role. Don't forget to document everything you do. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn and advocate for yourself and track the results you're achieving. This is not about just countering the diversity DEI hire narrative. It's about making sure you're setting yourself up for success in future evaluations and opportunities. Tip number two, create a network of advocates. Find colleagues and mentors and make them your allies. Find people who see your value and will advocate for you in rooms that you're not in. It's crucial to have people who are willing to amplify your voice and speak up on your behalf. This support system is invaluable for not just combating negative stereotypes, but also for career advancement. Your network will help you push back on that diversity hire label by reinforcing your value within the organization and connecting you with opportunities that showcase your strengths. Tip number three, don't internalize other people's ignorance. Remember, just because someone else is uncomfortable with diversity doesn't mean you have to carry that burden. Let them carry it themselves. Their discomfort is not your responsibility. Don't make it your problem. You have to focus on what you can control, which is how you show up, how you perform, and how you advocate for yourself. Lastly, it is crucial to remember that this journey isn't about proving your worth to anybody. It's about affirming your own value for yourself. You don't need validation from those who diminish your contributions. You already have everything you need to succeed. So don't let a label distract you from your path. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope this video helps shed light about how to combat the DEI diversity hire label and stigma and assert your value in the workplace. Remember, you belong there, you earned your right to be there, you earned your seat at the table, so sit tall and shine bright. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs to hear this message. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Anti-HR channel for more tips on how to navigate the workplace with confidence. Until next time, always remember that HR is not your enemy, but they're definitely not your friend, but I am. I'll see you in the next video, bye.